Hello, I'm Mary Atkinson, co-founder of the Story Massage Programme, and it's just such a delight to be here, to be um, part of this PMLD conference. Many people who enjoy the Story Massage Programme are people with PMLD and their carers, families, people who are working alongside them. And it's fun, it's joyous, it brings sort of life to stories and makes things really meaningful for people. So I'm going to be doing a follow along story massage, which I hope that you'll be able to enjoy. Um, but I'll, first of all, I'll just tell you a little bit about what the story massage program is. So it's a program of 10 strokes. Here's a few of them as some examples. And each of those strokes has a name such as the circle, and it has a symbol that goes alongside it, and it has an action. So the um, action for the circle, for example, is um, literally a circle. And that can be used to illustrate the words of a, a story. So it might, for example, be a roundabout, or a sun, or a feeling of harmony. And those strokes can be made quicker or deeper or smaller, um, depending on the, the narrative, depending on the, the story that you're telling, what you're trying to describe. Um, so it really can so the person who's receiving the story massage um, will really be able to feel it. And that's what's so important is that they can feel it. Um, and that really brings us something about the mixture of the story massage strokes with the words, which somebody says there's something quite magical that happens. It brings a real connection. And it's wonderful when you see the feedback of people who are really smiling, enjoying it, anticipating what's going to come next because they can feel it. And there's a lot of um, people are saying that there's a lot more eye contact, communication with expressive language, with um, just body language, uh, looking as if how much re they're relaxing, enjoying it, looking forward to the next um, stroke or the next story. I just want to show you now what it is so that you can have some idea and maybe you could follow along on your on yourselves on if you have somebody there alongside you or on a, a teddy or a pet even. Um, this is um, Emmanuel and um, he's, he's my teddy bear that I demonstrate on. So if you've got someone at home and, and you're able to, to follow along, then please do. If not, just try along and, on, and just get the feel of, of what it feels like. And you'll be able to see how the strokes are used to illustrate the words of the story. The first thing that we always do is to ask permission. So um, Emmanuel, Please may I give you a story massage? And Emmanuel's saying that yesterday he would be very happy to have one. Now obviously um, verbal um, communication is not always going to be relevant for people with PMLD. And on my blog, on the storymassage.co.uk blog, I've written a whole um, ideas for how you might be able to gain consent for people with PMLD. And I put a link into the, um, the little bit of information that I've put up onto the, this Facebook page. So I hope that you'll look at that and see other ways that people are, are trying to gain consent, maybe by giving a smell or by looking, by body language. But there's lots of different ideas for you to be thinking about there. So gaining consent and then saying thank you afterwards and looking for feedback all the way through are they enjoying it? Is the strokes feeling right? Which are their favourite strokes? This is so important to making it a shared, enjoyable experience where the person who is receiving the massage or enjoying the massage um, feels empowered and feels in control so that they can feel safe and relax and, and enjoy the, ex the whole sensory experience. So I'm going to be massaging Emmanuel's back because that will help you to see it so you can see much more of what's happening. Um, but you could be massaging wherever's accessible and wherever is appropriate for the individual that you're working with. I know some people really love to have the massage on their tummy, lying down and have the massage on their tummy. Some people prefer it on their hands or their feet. Wherever feels the, the best 
place for the person that you're with, wherever you feel comfortable, they feel comfortable, wherever is accessible. It's such a flexible program. Um, you learn the 10 strokes and then you choose how you want to use it. Um, what we ask is that it's respectful, that you ask permission, and that the person who is receiving um, the massage, enjoying the massage, feels you know, that they are respected, they are valued, and that they can really, really relax and enjoy it. So Emmanuel, you've said yes, Emmanuel would like to have this massage. So let's, um, you can just see what, see what, I think I'm gonna do it twice. So the first time you can watch it, see, what, um, see what's happening, um, and then maybe you could um, follow along. And I'm pretty sure that this will be up on the, um, on the Facebook page for a, for a while so that you could come back to it and follow along if you want to. So um, this is called A Winter Walk and um, it's one that I've written so there's, there's no copyright with it so um, if you wanted to have a copy of it then I'm very very happy to, to send you one. So what I want you to do is to be looking to see how the strokes are used to illustrate these words. It's cold and frosty out there. But we're going for a walk to get some fresh air. Put on your gloves, says Mum, and a hat on your head. It's slippery today. Let's be careful where we tread. Look at the dogs in cosy coats to keep them dry. They make us smile as we walk by. When we get to the park, it's a magical sight. The frost covers everything with twinkles of light. The pond is frozen, but the ducks don't mind. We watch as they dive to see what food they can find. The cold wind gives our cheeks a rosy glow and we feel the first fluttering of soft white snow. As we walk home, I ask if the snow will settle. But mum just says, Time to put on the kettle. She makes hot chocolate in my favourite mug and we sit on the sofa, all warm and snug. Our winter walk was fun. We'll do it again. And maybe tomorrow we can build snowmen. Thank you, Emmanuel. Shall we do that again? Yeah, so we're going to do that again, um, one more time, just so that you kind of get the, the feel of it again. And obviously some of those strokes might not be enjoyed by some individuals, but you could change the stroke, you can adapt things. Um, it's absolutely what um, the individual wants and chooses. And there, will be, there are ways of communicating, which we, we talk about, and which you will know, because you will know the individual that you're working with. So. We really want you to use the program so that you can personalise it um, to your own thing um, with positive, respectful touch. So I'm going to do that one more time so that if you want to follow along again, then, then here we go. Bruh. It's cold and frosty out there, but we're going for a walk to get some fresh air. Put on your gloves, says Mum, and a hat on your head. It's slippery today. Let's be careful where we tread. Look at the dogs in cosy coats 
to keep them dry. They make us smile as we walk by. When we get to the park, it's a magical sight. The frost covers everything with twinkles of light. The pond is frozen, but the ducks don't mind. We watch as they dive to see what food they can find. The cold wind gives our cheeks a rosy glow and we feel the first fluttering of soft white snow. As we walk home, I ask if the snow will settle. But Mum just says, time to put on the kettle. She makes hot chocolate in my favourite mug. And we sit on the sofa, all warm and snug. Our winter walk was fun. We'll do it again. And maybe tomorrow we can build snowmen. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you for letting me give you that story massage. Now, you can probably see, for those who are fans of um, sensory stories, that you can add all sorts of sensory props to that as well. Um, to, you know, pictures, a background, whatever, to make it even more of a sensory experience. But this is um, the simplicity, actually, of just adding touch to, to a story. Yep, so that's the Story Massage programme. If you want any more information, then please let me know. We have a very active Facebook page, um, the Story Massage programme. We have lots of videos on YouTube that you can follow along with, and we have a Vimeo channel. Um, we're really wanting to support you in learning the joy of Story Massage, the joy of bringing stories together. And it's appropriate for all ages from um, from you know babies right the way up to um, to you know adults and so it's all used in quite a lot of care homes um, and so the stories will be chosen to be appropriate for the individual so it might be a story massage that's a nursery rhyme it might be a curriculum rate um, story massage. A lot of um, schools are now using story massage as part of their, their learning to help their learners to really kind of feel the words, engage with the stories and then giving their stories, um, stories home where they can be repeated by parents at home. The simplicity or carers at home, the simplicity of it means that it's very very easy to be replicated almost exactly which means that this can be give the familiarity and help learners to relax and to really sort of let that learning um, to, to take place. So, so many benefits, but I hope that you've enjoyed following along. And the main thing is it's fun and it's really enjoyable. And I've loved being part of it and I'm really looking forward to um, all the other presentations and enjoying the, the whole day. So. Um, Thank you so much, Joy, for Joe, jo, for inviting us and bringing. I love the way that Joe and Joy it sounds so similar. Um, so bringing joy for us. So thanks, Joe, and um, great. Be in touch. Thank you.